Hello, and welcome to the Front Lines, presented by Glengard. Today we are at the Glengard Laboratory, and I'm joined by our R&D specialist, Chris Martin, and we're going to talk today about the evolution of arc-rated flame-resistant fabrics and some evolution that has occurred with the advancement of weaving technology, specifically a ripstop construction. We advocate lighter, more protective garments versus the heavier, more uncomfortable alternative. So we went from heavy canvas material to um, denims. Mm -hmm. Denims are great. Uh, denims serve their purpose. They look nice. But you and I both know if you're working in denim, it's not the most breathable thing in the world. Right. So going from heavy canvas to denims, we've now worked on more synthetic materials through polymer sciences, advances between the polymer, our weaving technology, our spinning technology, we've able, been able to develop a more lightweight, breathable fabric. That lightweight, breathable fabric started with planes that served their purpose, and now we've taken that to an even more performance-oriented tactical textile in our entwined ripstops. Great point, great point. The ripstop, when we make that fabric, uh, it is designed with a purpose, and that purpose is to offer the wearer something that is going to be durable, offer a high degree of protection, breathable, and lightweight. Tell the audience a little bit about that ripstop construction, because I think there's a lot of questions out there in terms of what makes a ripstop a ripstop versus a twill or a plain weave. Exactly. Ripstops really started with um, mountaineering equipment. Uh, you know, guys are rubbing up against rocks. Uh, they're falling from heights, they're running into tree branches, and they don't want their garments to tear or really disintegrate with use. So around the 40s, we started developing material, military spec material, that allowed us to take our material and expose it to more harsh conditions and last over time. That entwined ripstop that we have today evolved from a standard ripstop that's a little bit more aggressive, a little more abrasive, using that standard two double inserted pick, double inserted warp yarn to give you a box-like construction that's gonna prevent that fabric from tearing completely apart when it's punctured, abraded, or otherwise cut. So when our audience looks at a ripstop fabric, the aesthetics of that box design in the fabric itself is aesthetics, but it is also it's a functional purpose in that's that right. fabric. Exactly. And that function is to prevent the rips and provide better abrasion than, say, a twill or a plain weave. Exactly. Over the course of the last 10 or so years, the uh, R&D department here at Glen Raven has worked with our weaving experts in all of our production facilities to really fine-tune that process. Using some proprietary weaving information, can't exactly tell you that <laughs> on camera, but we've been able to really tie that weave down a little bit more to give you a lightweight, functional, breathable, and protective garment. So it is just like it sounds. It's a rip stop. Exactly. Excellent. Chris, thank you very much. And we we'll look forward to you joining us on the next episode of The Frontlines. You got it, Rich.